five, four, three, two, one. One out. Next flag up. Hi, Greg Clark for the Riverside Yacht Club Race Committee. I want to talk about operating the anchor on uh, on Junior. A um, little bit tricky, and so there's a couple things that's good for everyone to know if you're going to be up forward uh, working the anchor, just because it can be a little bit uh, temperamental. So the first thing you need to do is you need to come over to the DC panel, and you need to make sure that the anchor switch is turned on. So again, switches to the left are off, switches to the right are on. So flip that on and you'll now have the ability to come over and operate the windlass which is which is here. So you can um, this switch it is a you have to it's a toggle switch you have to pull out on just a little bit to operate it so you don't accidentally raise and lower the anchor when you're not supposed to. So you, if you pulled up on it you'll be able to hear it here real quick. I'm just going to do it very quickly. You can hear it and raise. If by chance this switch is on, the battery switch is on, it's not working, perhaps this has, this is the uh, circuit breaker, this thing draws a lot of power. So for perhaps what you need to do is you need to push on that button, that will reset the circuit breaker and then it should uh, operate. So once someone gets in place here, uh, there's some things to do up front as well. We'll show you that next. Okay, so let's talk about what we need to do up forward. So this is not a totally automated system uh, here on Junior. It does have a windlass, uh, but the windlass isn't the best in the world. So, so maybe let me just walk you through what needs to be uh, done in a couple of nuances. So the first thing is Junior does have an anchor lock, so you can see this. It's through one of the links in the chain. It's got a little, you have to push it to the side. So if you push this to the side, that will flip up and take the tension off of it so you can get it off the chain. Now I'm not actually gonna let this go. I don't have somebody operating the windlass. So, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna have somebody come up and they're gonna take these off so that the line is free. Okay? So you can now throw the anchor over and you know using hand signals is, is really important, right? So you know what, what I do is you know this is if you want the anchor down, do this. If it's down far enough, you just put your hand up to hold. If you want to raise, you point up and you spin your hand this way. Again, fist to hold. And it's very common on this windlass that as you're putting the anchor out, even though the windlass will be spinning, so you'll be going down, line won't be coming out. So you'll have to actually pull on this line sometimes because the teeth slip. Um, and once you get out the sufficient amount of chain uh, and line, you can cleat this off back on the anchor and, and set it. Uh, reverse procedure when you're bringing the anchor up. Um, again, this, this sometimes needs a little bit of assistance when you're bringing the anchor up. And so, um, you know, you'll motor the boat up, you know, you'll start giving the hand signal to bring the anchor up. Uh, they'll be operating the windlass in the back. And, you know, sometimes this just needs a little bit of help. Sometimes it's not pulling, so you just gotta you know, give it a little bit and, and futz with it. The most important thing is, when you're raising it, is you wanna leave about a foot of the line out. If this part, if this splice gets back into the uh, into the windlass, it's very difficult to get out. And if this gets into the windlass, it's really, really difficult to get out. And so you don't want to wind it up enough when you're winding up to have uh, that problem. So it'll be your responsibility up here in the bow to make sure as you're winding it up that you give a hole where you have at least a foot of line. Once you get the anchor all the way up, and with this extended, put it back through a link in the chain and can't fold it down, it needs to go one link further for, further aft. Let's try this one. Fold it down, and come back and put your basically lead hitch. And there you go. Anchor's good to go.